Welcome back to Weapon Manipulation and Tactics. Today I'm reviewing the Fowler Industries Glock 17 Mark II. Spent a lot of time behind this pistol, so I'm going to share with you guys my likes and dislikes about it. Um, starting with the slide, the slide is absolutely awesome. Um, there's not really a single millimeter on this thing that hasn't been touched, whether it's a cutout or weight reduction or some type of detail. Plus the entire slide has gone through and been polished to remove any type of tooling or machining marks, which is a really nice touch. There's a lot of people that just aren't doing that. Um, there is one downfall that I don't like about that though, is that the front press check serrations and the rear cocking serrations don't have a ton of aggressiveness to them. Um, the front press check serrations, there's been multiple times that you can feel your, <clears throat> your fingers slip a groove or two and I really like that positive traction. Um, when I grip it to where I don't have to question it. Same thing with the rear. There's times when you're going uh, and power stroking the slide and you can feel your hand slip a little bit. Now, of course, it impacts the rear sight, so it's not the end of the world, but still it's something that um, I would like that if they would make it just a little bit more aggressive or didn't go as crazy on the polishing or whatnot, but that's just you know nitpicking something. Uh, sights, big fan of fiber optic front sight. Um, this has plain rear, plain front. Still an awesome sight package. Um, that is something that I would change um, going forward is I would put a red fiber optic front on it just because it helps me pick it up faster. It's consistent with shooting carbines where we're shooting red dots. So, you know, red dot, red rod, there you go. Your eye just goes to it. Um, <clears throat> I like that it already has a RMR cut. It's not an option I have to select and pay more for. It's there. It's already done. So if I choose to run that, take the plate off, throw it in, good to go. Um, the barrel in-house, um, nicely machined, fluted. Um, this thing is super accurate. I mean, there are zero complaints um, coming from me as far as its accuracy goes, um, especially that it comes that way, you know, and that's not an option that I have to add or anything like that. Um, a lot of these Glock modifiers are just dropping in OEM Glock barrels or these drop-in match barrels. Um, yeah, no. So with this, you actually get a true fitted match barrel and the thing is deadly accurate. I mean, it's better than I am. So moving on to the frame, um, stipple jobs, excellent. Everything stippled in all the right places. The size and texture is exactly how I'd want it. Not too small, not too large, <clears throat> not so aggressive, but not to where you're um, wishing it was more aggressive. Uh, double undercuts, great, silky smooth, get your hand up nice and tight. Uh, trigger is, as you can see, it still has the factory shoe on it. Um, they've definitely worked it over. It works good. It has a good break, a good reset, um, but definitely could benefit from a little bit more tweaking. Judging by this slide and framework, I'm sure that's something that they're working on and will probably be available in the future. Um, I'll show you the break and reset real quick. <clears throat> to the wall. As you see, the trigger's good, not the greatest, but um, it did get better as rounds went through it. Mind you, it hasn't been cleaned. All I did was wipe it down for the video, so that way it didn't, it wasn't full of carbon and whatnot. Um, but it's a great shooting pistol, as you saw in the video leading up to this. Um, slide tracks fast, it tracks flat. Um, I have zero gripes with the way that it shoots. It's actually a very, 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 very enjoyable shooter. Um, I really feel like you guys get your bang, your bang for your buck, if I could speak correctly, um, when you purchase this pistol. There's a lot of high-end pistols out there that I just feel like they're going for the look of a high-end pistol without really giving you that type of performance factor. Um, I really feel like you get the performance and the value with this. So, um, other than the front press check serrations and the rear cocking serrations needing a little bit more of an edge and aggressiveness to them, the thing rocks. So if you're looking for a modified Glock pistol, I would seriously consider this, you know. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, post them up in the comments and uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate it guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks.